once you're done, you're running behind me. Red bench top. Well, sure, we're health in the fitness space, but we're also in the relationship business. I'm here because I 100% care about each and every member. I know every member by name. I know their birthdays, I know their spouses, their siblings. We create this family, team, community-oriented environment, and that's why we're so special, I believe. He really just leads by examples. Um, his workouts are always unique. He pours so much heart and soul into his workouts and his relationships. He's super organized and focused. He encourages those of us who are members of HVA. He encourages us during our workouts, he encourages us to attain 100% participation. That's contagious, and we tend to encourage each other during our workouts. And we can attribute that to his use of uh, community-mindedness. He built a community here at HVA. He launched more of an initiative to bring individuals together. We all grow together, we all learn together, and that's what separates our workouts from anybody else. In high school, I was a three-sport athlete, football, basketball, baseball, and then I went on to college, soon I brought forward to play football, and I studied physical education. My background is a PE teacher, coach, assistant principal, and athletic director. And during the pandemic, I started Hot Tobacco Ambition, and I've always been in the fitness and working out, and the gyms in the world shut down, so that kind of inspired me to take the gym and fitness outdoors. It's always different, and even those interpersonal relationships you build as you're working out, as you're sweating, as you're struggling, as you're succeeding, as you're growing, it's all part of it, it all changes. It's so stimulating, because you don't know what to expect. HVA, we do everything. We use all the natural elements, parks, waterfront, beaches, hills, stairs, inclines, declines, you name it. We play medicine ball volleyball, we play medicine ball bocce, we're tossing sandbags around, kettlebells, resistance bands, you name it. And what's kind of cool is we go year round, all four seasons, so we appreciate the beauty in that and the challenges. When I first started, I couldn't, I could not complete the workout. I'm finding that I'm progressing. I'm able to do more of the workout. I don't have to pause as often as I did. He has the uncanny ability to make you feel like he's coaching you individually. It goes back to my teaching background and it brings me great joy to see how I can challenge and navigate workouts and give them different looks, different feels, different angles to really keep them growing and make sure their stamina, endurance, strength is all increasing on a weekly, monthly and annual basis. With Ryan, uh, I'm often reminded of uh, a saying by our sixth president of the United States, John Quincy Adams. And he said, if your actions inspire others to become more, to learn more, to do more and to be more, you are a leader. And that's how I envision Ryan to be, a leader. A leader in the community, a leader with his peers, a leader in general. And one last thing. We are fortunate to have this, a program like this in Kingston. And I would just want to say thanks, Coach Knock, for the opportunity. So am I proud of Ryan for being the Emerging Young Leader of the Year? You better believe it. I, I'm his biggest fan. Is he emerging? Nah, man. That guy's been winning for years. That guy's a winner. I am extremely grateful, blessed, and honored are three words that come to mind. To even be in a conversation to be recognized as something I never even thought would happen. So the fact that I, I was awarded this is, is just a dream come true, and I'm happy to serve my community in the process. Holy squat challenge.